Hello to our future YouTube channel. Today in the short, short uh, tutorial I will show you how to create Azure Linux Ubuntu Server virtual machine. For, this, uh, for that reason I will open my uh, Azure dashboard. I already create one resource group. To create a virtual machine you have to click on the left side on virtual machines. I don't have anything at the moment, so I'll click on the button Add. The button Add will give me the options of uh, different virtual machines. Now in this uh, new plate, okay, let me scroll it down. I have uh, Ubuntu Sun Silver recommended. You can find it a little down also, but. Uh, is it already here? I will select it. I will select uh, Ubuntu Server version 14. I will use uh, Resource Manager and I will click Create. Next blade is uh, choose a name of my server. So it will be US uh, Linux test as is uh, this is the disk drive I will select SSD username will be with um, okay learn how to do I have two options one of them is with the password where I have to create a password and the other one is SSH public key. I will use SSH public key, so the password is very straightforward, but SSH public key has a little trick how to set up your client, so I'll use it this one. Okay, so for SSH public key, it shows here, key which can be generated with two like SSH generator. So I will show you has a program which they call PUTTY. This program is free, it's actually it's uh, for Windows. Because I'm using Windows, I will use uh, this uh, program. And inside of this package, it is giving me a PuTTY generator. So if I open this generator I actually can select uh, generate a key and it's asking me to randomly move my mouse over the blank area so this is what I'm doing Again. here it is I can select everything what is inside, Control C, and I will come here, Control V. I will use my existing uh, resource group. If you don't have, you just have to leave uh, blank create new, and I will click. Uh, Okay. Now in the program which I already create, I, I actually can save the public key. Put key public and save private key are you sure you want to save it yes i don't want to this is just testing environment so key private okay so let's go to our virtual machine it is giving me different choices on the right side you have view all so you can see a different plans in case it uh, None of these plans you like. Okay. Uh, 
as you can see they have a very different plus you see on the top 57 is the cheapest one but if you scroll it all down you actually can find even cheaper than the recommended one one core 2 GB which actually is uh, perfect for one Linux virtual machine for the moment actually we are doesn't really care so just select this one and the button select next light will give me if I need to change some storage, networks, some monitoring, I will leave everything by default. By default, by default, the remote access is open, so I don't have actually to do anything except click OK and go to the next blade. By the way, these sliding uh, windows uh, are called uh, blades. And briefly it's giving me what it is, so I click OK. It will take a while before virtual machine uh, will be uh, deployed. And during the deploying process, I'll click a pause and the moment uh, this server is ready, I will resume and continue with uh, the connection. And this is the step uh, where it's finalizing the deployment. Deployment succeeded. Now it's uh, loading all information which we need to connect. Everything what we need is actually the external IP address. I'll just click here to copy. Okay. Now we have to, after we copy the external IP address, I'll open uh, the program P-U-T-T-Y dot uh, I have to put uh, the um, the external IP address I can call uh, Ubuntu now what is important if you need to just use an email password you can click open and it will start uh, the connection asking for username and password but we choose to use SSH public key so SSH key is actually here authentication and it's asking you please uh, select the private key so I'll click here in private key I'll select it and I'll go back and I can say I want to save it like this Ubuntu server, so in the future I can connect it uh, easily. Can click open. It will ask me this server key is this one? Do you know? Do you? yes, I'm agree. Whatever it is, and I'm saying login us. We select a username, and how you can see it will not ask me for password because I already used a special key. If I select password it you ask me for username and the password that's the only difference so here it is we're connecting to our um, Linux Ubuntu server and this is everything for in this video in another video I will show you the first commands for every single virtual machine which you have to learn thank you to be with me and uh, have future um, YouTube channel goodbye